Today in this tutorial I'll teach you how to make a gaze button for the Google VR plugin in the, using Unity. It's like a button where you look at it and it loads for a certain amount of time and then it receives the click event. This is very useful in virtual reality applications. So let's start by downloading the Google VR plugin for Unity. It works with cardboard like headsets and Daydream. Um, it's really easy to find, you just need to down to Google GVR Unity download and you find their GitHub. So you can just come here, click on the package. Now he's currently on the version 1.3.0. 1 so let's download it. You just have to click and download. It's gonna take a while. Okay, while it downloads, let's open up Unity. And I'm gonna create a new project called Gaze Button. Right. Gaze Button VR. Now we don't need analytics for this, it's just a tutorial. So let's do this. Right. So first thing we want to do is like as we're gonna run this project and a mobile device, in my case an Android device, I'm gonna switch the platform to Android. Here we go. And now that we have downloaded the Google VR Unity package, we can just grab it. We need to go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and it is on downloads. Where is it? There you go. Yeah, there it is, the package. So you just download it. Um, yeah, cool. You can grab everything, but I think in this case. Uh, I won't need the demos, I don't need any demo scene or anything. So I think it's safe to leave the demo. Alright. Okay, now that we have finished the download, the loading the assets, we need to import some other packages. I don't know why, but Currently I'm using Unity 5.5, if you're using a different version of Unity you might not need to do this, but if so just import the package. And I don't know why, when you do this import, your editor he gets like really weird. I don't know what happened, it's probably some kind of bug. So I'm gonna close Unity and open it again, it's fine. So we already have our main camera. I'm gonna add a plane. Um, plane. He's like on zero zero zero. I'm gonna create a material for the plane. I'll create a folder called materials and a material called flow. I'm just gonna give it like it's a red color. You can add any color you want. I think this white is not very cool. So there it is. And we have our main camera. The main camera, I'm gonna put it like closer to the plane. Something like minus two in the Z direction. So it can see the plane. And we're gonna use the camera. It will be like our, our player. The camera is our player and we're gonna need some prefabs here at the Google VR folder we have the folder prefabs and we have like the GVR viewer so we need this guy over here cool 
And now, with, without the Google VR viewer, you just have like a normal, normal scene. It doesn't do anything. But with the Google VR viewer enabled, I can use the tracking of the head. Now the VR will actually work the screen on the mobile device will divide in two and you can like use the I'm using Mac so when I press the alt the option key you can like with the key pressed you can look around it's out on Mac if you're using Windows I think it's the alt key but it's worth checking out but anyway you can like look around it's the same it's gonna happen when you put your mobile phone on a headset and look around okay now we need to find some way to be able to interact with the elements on the screen so I'm gonna create a canvas I'm gonna call it menu and it has to be a world space canvas because in VR we can't render in the screen space because of the renderization process which renders one scene in which I, I'm not sure exactly the details but the, world, the screen space just doesn't work so I'm gonna put it in the zero position and add a size of, I don't know, 10 by 10, something like it. Maybe it can be smaller, it can be like 5. And I'm gonna put it in front of all player. Uh oh, not like that. Let me see this. Okay, I'm just gonna put it a little bit in front of the player. And. All right, now we need some way to be able to interact with the elements on this canvas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a image to the canvas. UI image. I'm going to grab, I don't know, the this background and here it is centering on the canvas I don't want it to center on the canvas I want it to have a size proportional to the canvas so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this guy and I'm gonna click on this guy stretch in this one on the right bottom okay now you can see I have like this anchors, if I move them like this, they change. So this is like the proportion constraints of the image I'm working now. And it has like an offset that I don't want. If you put zero in all those guys, you can see that it, it now has a, a size compatible with the constraint. So what I'm going to do now is I want it to be the size of the top half of my canvas. So I have moved the constraints to the top half. Actually, th these are the anchors. It's called anchor. Sorry for that. And I need to change the bottom offset again. And there it is. The image type is now sliced. I don't like the sliced image type. I want it simple because I can preserve the aspect ratio of it. That's what I want. See? Cool. Now that I have this button, I need to be able to interact with it. So what I want to do for first is like, when I look at this button, it will change its color. When I look to other direction when I look outside this button 
you have another color. Right now, he has like the color to totally white, completely white. So I'm gonna create a script for this button first. So I usually create a new folder called script and I create the button script. You'll be, I'll call it gaze button. All right, so let's do this. So the first thing I need in my script is I need a reference to the image of my button. I'm going to call it, it's an image, but I'm going to call it a button. It has this image, I need a reference to it. Uh oh, button image. Now, I can't use the image because I need to include the namespace UI. See, now I can use the image. Now, what I want to do is like, I want the image to become white if I'm not looking at it. So I'm going to create a function. Um, I don't know, white color. So what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to get this. Oops, I need to put a void here, the type of the function. Okay, I need to reference my button image and change its color to white. Right. And now I want to add a method to make it red when I'm looking at it. So with an image color red. There it is. Now I have these two functions. Okay, now if I look to this button, nothing is gonna happen because it doesn't know how to interact with the gaze of the user. So we need to, to add some elements in our scene to make it capable to interact with elements using just the gaze. The first thing we need to do, it's in the event system, we need to add the gaze input module. Uh oh, let me see what I got. Actually, it's the GVR input module. So, we have now the GVR input module, and we need to, to put it above the standalone input module. Actually, we can even delete the standalone input module. So we have the GDR pointer input. We need also to add a physics ray caster to our, actually we need a GVR pointer physics ray caster to our camera because it needs to know where the camera is pointing to, where the user is actually looking at. So we need this guy over here too. And we also need to add a, it's over here, uh, I think it's UI, the GVR reticle. It's an element we need to add to the camera. So it, can, it also works uh, in order to interact with UI elements. I'm gonna play the scene just to see if everything's alright. Alright, seems to be fine. Now you can see that I have like this uh, this point in my scene. It shows where I am looking at elements that I can interact with. So now I'm going to add uh, to my button. I need to add a collider so it will be capable to interact with my gaze pointer. So I'm just going to add a simple box collider. And I want the collider to fill the button. 
So I'm gonna increase it on the Z, oh, sorry, on the Y and on the X direction. The Z, it doesn't need to be this big, but that's all right. And now that I have the box collider, I can add the event system. Oops, sorry. I need to add the event trigger. It is the script that will make uh, my actions will make when I look at the button, you know that I'm looking and it, it's gonna trigger events for it. In this case, I need the pointer enter for when I look at it and the pointer exit. And I forgot to add my script, my gaze button script to this guy. All right, now when I look to my button, I want it to become red, which is the pointer enter. So I'm gonna add one event to this guy, and this event will be from oh, yeah, I forgot to add the button image to my button script. So I just need to grab the button, and there it is. It already detects that this button has a image script, so he gets the image. And now I need my event trigger to call my gaze button red color method. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drag my script to here. And here I'll select the gaze button. Oops. And you know, put the red color. And I want for when the user is not looking at it, I want it to be white. So I'm gonna do the same thing, but instead of calling the red color I'm gonna call the white color let me see if this works I hope so yeah it didn't work shame on me okay sorry guys we need to add a GVR graphics rate caster it's like this guy over here Oops. GVR pointer graphic rate caster. Okay, guys. Uh, I forgot something. Uh, actually, I don't need this collider on the button because my canvas already implements the GVR pointer graphic rate caster. All I need now is to add a it's something called GVR Pointer Manager and it's another script to work with the reticle actually I think we don't even need the no we need the raycast sorry yeah that's all you, we just need to add this GVR Pointer Manager and now when you look at the button you see it gets red and you look, when you look out of it, it gets blue. So it's one way to interact with it. And in the next tutorial, in the next part of this tutorial, I'll show you how to add a loading image before it receives the actual click event. So see you guys later.